Hello, you already know who I am. My name is Regan Erforth, and this is my Creative Critical Reflection 3. Question 3 asks, how did your production skills develop throughout the project? During the whole process of making our film, there was a lot of ups and downs. When we got close to filming, there was a lot of arguing about certain scenes we were to film. A lot of the arguing was between me and Shalo. One thing we fought a lot about was the two scenes. One where the robber falls asleep in the car, and then it fades to black, and then we see the robber waking up in a time lapse. Missy and Shayla did not like the idea of the robber falling asleep in the car and then waking up out of the two of them. Shayla hated the idea of it because she thought it wouldn't fit the storyline. Missy and Shayla instead wanted it to cut to a time lapse after the robber had gotten to a safe spot. I did not like this idea because it would have been inconsistent with the film and did not really fit the vibe of the film. For like two days, me and Shayla went back and forth with each other over it. Missy tried her best to stay out of it, but at some point she stepped in so me and Shayla did not say anything that we would regret later. We came up with a compromise that we would film both shots and when we started to edit, we would decide on which one to use. As you can tell, neither was used, but this was just because of the time limit. This film really tested how strong our friendship was and if we would work well together in a group. Needless to say, I think if a really big project similar to this ever came up, we probably won't work together again, but we most likely still help each other if one of us needed. When making this film, I really got out of my comfort zone. One time when I went out of my comfort zone when filming this was when I had to ask the thrift store owners if we could film in their store. I really don't like talking to people I don't know, mainly because I get really anxious and start to overthink the interactions that happen. But I managed to talk to them and they agreed to it. They were really sweet when I asked and when we were filming they were making jokes with us. Another thing I don't like to do is a leader type role. During the filming I took on the director role. I had to tell Missy and Shayla what I wanted from them in scene. At some points, I had to be quite harsh in order to get what was expected for the scene. I do not like being harsh, nor do I like being demanding, but because of how important this project is, I had to do it. I think because of that, for other projects outside of this one, I have become more open and demanding with what I want for it, but not being as harsh as I was when I was directing this film. Lastly, the thing I got out of my comfort zone with was filming in public. I absolutely hate drawing attention to myself. Some people may say otherwise, but they do not know what goes on in my head when I think people are watching me. Having a camera on a tripod as a car drives by in a Target parking lot, we were bound to have people stare at us. I had to get over this irrational fear of people staring at us in order to film. Once I did this, I became a lot more confident in filming and started not to care what people thought about us while we were filming. Although this project was filled with arguing and getting out of my comfort zone, it really was fun to do. We added a lot of fun filming our video and probably made some lasting memories. One of my favorite moments was when I was interviewing Missy and asking her how she thought filming was going, and Shayla was loudly slurping her drink. Actually, here's the video well missy what how do you feel about filming so far um <laughs> you have to ask it again how do you feel about filming so far um my neck has bug bites on it and i'm kind of tired and i have pepper spray in case anyone tries to kidnap us you want to you want to show off the pepper spray Ooh, let's get close up <laughs> you want to demonstrate it on her no <laughs> sure <laughs> Come on, Shayla. <laughs> How do you feel about her drink making noises? I am excited for her to be done with the drink. Say goodbye to the vlog, Missy. Goodbye to the vlog, Missy. Another one of my favorite moments was when me and Missy were trying to get the eye makeup off Shayla. It was so bad that Shayla actually looked like a raccoon when we went into Target. We had to be aggressive when taking the makeup off and I think we learned to never use dollar store makeup that has probably expired ever again. Filming was a lot of fun and I think getting out of my comfort zone helped me get over some of my fears. Say goodbye to the vlog, Missy! Goodbye to the vlog, Missy!